Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God. Five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. And we're in Psalm 48, resuming our study here in the book of Psalms. Psalm 48, verse 10. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. God's name is known throughout the earth. The word God may sound different in different languages, but all people everywhere know that he is there. They will seek to appease that God who has no name. They know he's there because that knowledge comes built in to every human being. We know inherently that there is a God, even if we don't know his exact name. That's why there are so many religions in the world, even on deserted islands, basically, where, you know, they're trying to appease the God that they know that they have offended. They can tell. There's the, there's the inner witness in our conscience. There's the witness of creation. There's the witness of the orderliness in creation. You got to work real hard at becoming an atheist. I mean, you got to love your sin and your rebellion an awful lot to get to the point where you deny the existence of God because that does not come naturally to anyone. So God's name is known throughout the earth. Everyone knows that he's there. Everyone also knows that he is holy and that they have to answer to him on his terms. Verse 11, let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Be glad, Israel, because God will personally make sure that you're going to be treated fairly. God must do that eventually, or he would not be true to himself. Right has to triumph because God is a God of righteousness and he does not lose. Right has to triumph. Fairness, unfairness, I should say, must be punished. And those who suffer unjustly in this world must have their situation reversed. And that is one reason for eternity, to make square those things that were not right in this world. 12. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Count the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces that ye may tell it to the generation following it. In other words, look at and appreciate the fact that none of those Jerusalem landmarks are at all damaged by the enemy. It's good to be reminded that things could be much worse than they are. And that, and that is always the case if you're a Christian. Things can always be worse than what they are. Even if a Christian has absolutely nothing good in their life today, they still have a great eternity. They're not burning in hell. Things could be much worse all the time. 14, for this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. If God is your God, then you can be sure that he is your guide also. It may not feel like it, but don't go by feelings. You may not like it, but whether we like something or not does not determine if God is leading. He guides us today, and he will guide us after we die, because he said so. And he is a God who is true to his word, and I'm out of time. Study the whole Bible with me, just like we did today, verse by verse, four series going through the Bible at thebibleversebyverse.com. That's the scripture verse by verse website found at thebibleversebyverse.com. And as always, if you would like to be a part of this ministry and stand with me and help me to get out the word of God, then pray for me and pray for God's word. And when you take a break from studying, go to the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. And I'll see you next time.